Hey everybody, it's Miss C, fourth grade teacher at Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship Charter School. And today we are on our sixth lesson of weather and we're gonna be talking about erosion. So this is gonna be a quick video because I know that you just watched the brain pop video and you learned a little bit about erosion. So we have been talking about precipitation in the last few days. We know precipitation can come in different kinds of forms. It can be rain, sleet, hail, or snow, and they come from clouds. Now precipitation can be a really good thing, and if we have too much, it can be a really bad thing. And precipitation, so water, the, the water that falls from clouds, it, when it, there's a lot of it, it can cause damage. And um, sometimes it can damage our homes, sometimes it can damage um, our structures that we have, like roads, and sometimes it can weather rocks. And weathering is just a process where wind and rain are, or water are whipping against something and they are slowly breaking it down. So our first slide here, we have a picture of the coast and we see that there, this is obviously the ocean. There's a lot of um, rock here, a rock formation. And we see that it has this little opening right here and it's a column right here. And we can infer that this has happened over a really long time of this water hitting this rock here. And every time it hits it, it's going to make it break down into really tiny pieces. And over time, it breaks down into things like this. And this is called weathering. We can see that this line of rock right here is going, is going further and further back. And that is because of the um, water continually hitting it and the wind continually hitting it over time. Now here we have a different picture. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video, that um, erosion can cause a lot of damage to things that we may build in our society. So here's a road that goes around this um, side of the cliff and we see that there's been a lot of erosion here. Now if there's been a lot of rain, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of rain, then um, that's going to continue to break that, the, those particles down and it's going to continue to ruin the road for us. We're not going to be able to use this road if it continues to recede, which means go back um, even farther here. So we know that this is a combination of weathering that the wind and the rain and then the um, water from the ocean constantly hitting it is breaking it down. Now here we have a path that maybe somebody would go on with their dog or with their family and hike up and you see that a lot of the rock under here is exposed and you can see a big difference between where the grass is and where this rock is. And this has been broken down um, by the rain as well. So the more rain, and we see that it's on a hill too, right? It's like, it's slanted. So the more it rains, the more the water is going to run down it and it's going to carry all of that dirt, all of those rocks down it, and it's going to continue to make this path wider and deeper. And that is a great example of erosion. Now, if this was like in a state park, or if this was in, maybe even on private land where somebody um, let people come to hike, they might not want this to happen because this um, really is damaging the land and people can get hurt on it. So this is an example of how erosion can be not a good thing at all. Another example is, um, so this is a form of erosion, it's mudslide. So this is somebody's house and we see that this tree, its roots are, right here it looks like this tree might fall over soon and we see that this whole side of this person's yard has just been totally swiped out and that is from a lot a lot of rain and that rain has carried all of these loose um parts and it's really just just torn it right out um so that is another example so this is how the weather can also affect our lives in either a good way where we have enough rain to sustain our rivers and our lakes so that we can keep fishing, so that we can have um, energy from hydropower, so that we can have water to drink, and also how so that we can have water to grow plants. Um, but weather can also be bad because it can cause things like this to happen and it can damage structures. And so that's why we have to be very careful with how we design things and where we place things and be mindful of how the climate and the weather is and how it changes. Okay, so tomorrow we will start talking um, about droughts. All right.
So make sure that you fill out the exit ticket and I hope you all have a great day.